everybody it's Elaine and welcome back to my channel I am back with another design team project that I've completed from Sweet Pea Curiosities now this kit is called um, a grunge folio I think maybe botanical grunge folio I'll put all the information down below the video here to make sure that I put you in the right spot um, she also does have her own YouTube on this showing you how to assemble it. I will tell you, for me, there was a bit of a learning curve. Um, I did reach out and watch the video in slow motion. <laughs> I watched it at like 50% speed so I could make sure that I could actually craft along and she didn't get ahead of me. But... It's a little bit different than things I normally do, but I'm going to tell you, she gives you all kinds of ephemera to go with this. I'm going to, let me see here if I can slide my camera back. There we go. So that might help a little bit for you to see kind of how big it is. All righty. Um, and she gives you all kinds of ephemera, ephemera. There's, these are two pockets. I made this into a pocket. Here's a little pocket, and there were still lots of stuff left, all right? Um, and I liked these little chain pockets out here. I think in her video she did two, but I did three. Um, this is a little doodad, and that's it. And, I mean, it's there's not really a whole lot of assembly that was hard. It's just the order in which you put it together to make it fit the same front and back that's where i got confused Alrighty, um what i didn't realize is that there was some overlapping of papers okay so don't get frustrated is my point just go and watch her original video um she does have a little bit of instruction when you download it but i'm so silly i didn't pay much attention to that <laughs> i just said okay i can do this i can do this but I put this together at a recent retreat I was at with a small group of ladies. And I like doing projects like this when I go off on something like that. Because let me tell you, you can print out your digitals. You don't necessarily have to go ahead and cut them out. So that's something you're doing while you're there talking to your friends. Um, and also when you have stuff like this, think about it. You just really have to bring the kit, some scissors, and some glue. Um, unless you know that you want to add more embellishments and stuff to it. So you really don't have to carry a lot of stuff with you. I did three journals at that retreat. I did some little books, which I'll show you in an upcoming video. And, and then I had a couple other little projects I wanted to do. Everything that I brought, which was like seven projects, all fit in one suitcase. One not very big suitcase at that um, and that did include my um, ink pads and everything for edging stuff um, so yeah I, I, I just that's how I like to go to retreats is knowing what I'm gonna do I don't have to lug a whole lot of stuff with me that then I'm not gonna use yeah I mean so plan when you go out to something like that do your best to plan what you want to work on alrighty so anyhow that's it and I appreciate you coming by. And if I'm going to put up a video, I will do it on Tuesday evening, Eastern Time, 6 p.m. And you can find me on Facebook. I have a group and a page, which I've been trying to be better at. And then my own private Facebook, where you can see some of the places that I go. I'm also on Instagram. I don't do much on Twitter, but I will. And then um, Pinterest. I'm on Pinterest. So you can see what I like and, and what I follow. And then I do have a small Etsy shop um, named Larkin Lane Creations. So that's it for me for right now. And I appreciate you coming by. And I will catch you in my next video. And I will see you then. Thanks for coming by. Bye.